Welcome back oh. to the basement yard. Oh. Yeah, starting off. You, you went back in that. I wish I could go back in this chair. Yeah, you hit your head on that fucking wall too many a couple, times. A couple buddy. times already. Too many times. It's been good though. I'll yeah. get brain damage for this show. I'm gonna let you know now before there's any mix up later and you think there's a fire. Nope, just farted. Oh. But it came out hot and it kind of like I got the first whiff of it and it kind of smells burnt. Thank God it's not as hot out as it was the last couple days because Lord Almighty, the last day that we recorded, it was fucking hot. That would make me pass out. Yep. I yeah. wouldn't be able to make my way through it. No, but lately I've been having really burnt farts. Like they hurt you? No, no, no. Like, That's what you get, No, bitch. They, they smell like a, like, I get scared of like, yo, the kitchen's on, I left the stove on. Oh, they on. smell like gas? They smell, <laughs> no, not, they don't smell like gas. They smell like burnt food. That, which it, what do you, what do you very have? Very well could be. What is going on with you? Why? I. You're just letting sulfur just rip out of your fucking ash? There's volcanic rock in my ain. There is igneous rock what's that that is the volcanic rock earth science i remember that shit igneous igneous yeah i actually had a 98 in earth science let's go that was eighth grade dude eighth grade i, I took mine late i must have i think i took mine late. i've literally failed every single science after that yeah i think there's too much there's math i i, I went like Planets? backwards i went backwards i took like chemistry then physics and then earth science which you should have done the opposite way. My freshman year of high school, we had a class that was half the year was chemistry and then half the year was biology. Both halves sucked. Oh, yeah, those suck. Those suck. But biology was when you saw the Miracle of Life video. I actually never saw it. Oh, oh I yeah. Didn't you see it in school. I watched you it. You watched it recently. I remember looking at that fucking woman blowing a bubble out of her hoo ha. Yeah, dude, a baby bubble. It was a bubble full of a baby. Yep, 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 yep. Dude, and dude, she had a hairy fucking vagina. Yeah, the video was made in like 1983. And the bush was fucking thriving back then. And not even was the bush thriving, but like, it was like wet hair. You know what I mean? Soaking, it was so wet. So it was like, you know when like you wet your leg hair and it just like falls in in that pattern? Mm -hmm. That's what it was. It honestly looked like, you ever watch the Discovery Channel and Uh they get really close to a tarantula's mouth? Oh yeah, and it's got like beads of like water. It's like salivating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what that looked like. Yeah, teeth and all. Yes. Might have been. Might have been. That's a terrifying video, man. For the people who don't know, The Miracle of Life is the video that they used to show in schools. I don't think they show it anymore because, you know... Big old graphic kind of thing. Might be traumatic for some children. Oh, maybe, maybe. Wait, I mean, you, what you, What grade did you see that in? Eighth. I saw that in eighth grade, yeah. That's early, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, I, I was I was already figuring out my own stuff. I might as well try to see, you know, what I could have gotten into. I saw it when I was 27 years old, and it it's got not, me. Listen, it's not easy to see. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, it's just, like, crazy that, like, a human body does that. You know what I mean? Pushes like, out a thing. Like, it reminds me of, like, the predator's mouth. How it, like, fucking, like, drops and opens like that. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, the, ugh, dude, the vagina, dude. It's like a cobra's mouth. Just unhinges. It's a crazy place. And you could slide out. It really, it literally is like, yeah, like, pythons, like, swallow, like, whole, like, animals whole. And then you're connected by the rope. The cord. The, the cord. It's, it's not rope. It's not a rope. <laughs> The umbilical cord, which is crazy. Dude, and then, like, there's, like, crazy, like, science that comes out of all that shit, like, stem cells. And, like, that umbilical cord is probably, like, the the cure to everything ever. Well, don't people, like, eat placenta? Yes, I do know. I think I think I said this on a video. Would you do it? Video. Ooh, I don't know if I'd, like, fucking, like, saute it with garlic and shit, but, well, like... Well, I'm not asking you to, you know... Sh- I know, I think there's a thing where it's, like, you could pay for this, and they'll freeze-dry it. And, like, put it into, like, gel capsules. And you could, like, pop a pill. You can, like, fucking, like... Goop. I don't know why I did the... Goop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... The hell is that? But um, I think... I, I mean... It's supposedly, like, really good for you. But I can't get past the point where it's, like... I know what it is here. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. I, I mean... I don't even really know what it is, to be honest with you. The placenta, I think, is, like, the sack that the baby just, like, fucks in. You know, like, not fucks. You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. I thought I did. They're not fucking in there. I know they're not. There's no one else in there. But they might be? No, they're not. (laughs) (laughs) But, like, it's like the... It's like... It's like if your house was inside a vagina. You know what I mean? You, like, you live in this place. You're walking around. You're having a good old time. You're You're sleeping. You're waking up and you're eating. Mm-hmm. Imagine if you could then like put your house into like a compound bucket and then saute it. Does that make sense? That was one of the worst metaphors <laughs> I've ever heard in my entire life. I understand less 
than no, I did no, going no, no, in. No, 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 no. All right, look. Don't follow even. Me. Don't no. Follow me here. I already. I already know you're confusing. You're throwing me no, off. No, I'm not confusing you. Yes. Listen, it's it's the it's in the pussy. What is it? <laughs> What does it? It's like food for the baby. No, it's what they live Damn in. It. I believe. I believe it's like. All right. Imagine you were wearing a backpack, and in that backpack you put a baby. Or no, better because you're not doing that. That wouldn't be the first time. That'd be the eighth time. <laughs> put a baby in a backpack. Listen. All right. You know how like Paris Hilton had like the little like dog bags. Of course. Okay. Imagine the bag was the placenta. Okay. The placenta. Yeah is an organ that develops in your uterus mm-hmm. during pregnancy. Mm-hmm. This structure provides oxygen and nutrients to your growing baby and removes waste products from your baby's blood. I think they hang out in it. I might be wrong. The plac- I think the, I might be. The yeah. placenta attaches to the wall of your uter- uterus mm-hmm. and your baby's umbilical cord arises from it. Wait. What? I mean, you're not... This is more confusing. Yeah. This is very... I'm also seeing... What it is, and it's like, so we gotta, we gotta, the babe. Do we know so nothing about this? Yeah, it's I got crazy. a kid coming. <laughs> I need to figure this shit out. You got a kid coming. I mean, you won't need to know what placenta is. I might need. You're to. not going in there might, and uh, sifting through. You and, never know. Maybe I will. Nah, um, but so the placenta is this on the bottom here. Okay, it's like it's like the sack. But there's just a sack of blood. What's that for? I think that like the placenta is like wet and red. It is wet. It looks red. I mean, it's definitely wet. I think it comes out. It's like raw meat looking. Go check it out. Google that shit. What real placenta? Like a real, like a real life placenta. Amateur placenta. <laughs> Why amateur? <laughs> Why does it need to be amateur? Okay, hold on. Real placenta. We're learning real time, guys. Real time, real time. Real time. We're learning about this stuff. Wait, what the fuck? Getty Images. Is the first link 459 placenta photos and premium high quality res pictures? I need to see these. Well, you'd have to get a subscription with a whole. (laughs) Is it red? Dude. Is it red? Is it. This looks like. Is it thick? It just looks like someone's ass fell out. Let me see. (gasps) Whoa! Let me see. No. Let me see. I want to see it. Oh, Oh, there you go. That's a good one. That's a good one? That looks like that fucking sad fish. It literally looks like someone took a shit in one of those bags that they put newspapers in that it are looks very like, thin. It looks like it could be a colostomy bag. That's what it could look like. Right, but for someone who's got blood in their stool. Damn, babies come out of this shit? This is ugly as fuck. Dude, Bert's gonna be whack. Nah, Bert's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna love it, but I don't want to see is. this shit. No, it's beautiful, obviously. I would swing, because that's the umbilical cord. I would swing that shit around like a know, fucking lasso. You know what it is about birth? It's really amazing while you're there. Afterward? Uh, but uh, in hindsight, like a look mm. back at birth, you're like, what, what, what? were we doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. Yeah, this is just a lot for me. I'll it doesn't look very appealing. It literally looks like someone's lung fell out onto the highway and then a car ran it over. You ever seen any movie where they have like a fucking like brain control device? That's what that looks like. It has like, it looks like you just throw it on someone's head like a French hat. And it sucks the fucking brain out of them. It does look like a, a beret. You know? It looks <laughs> like that? a beret. So people are putting this in... Um, actually, that one looks like a stingray. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I can see that a little bit. So basically, uh, for those who are learning along with us at yeah, this moment... And, which I hope is a lot. Placenta is a vaginal stingray. It actually comes from the Roman god of uh, expanding vaginal orifices, Placentiaitia. I think you're confusing plantar fasciitis with... You know, I was looking for that word. <laughs> plantar fasciitis. I was looking for that word. Like, and I just, what's the thing that I my mom I just started had? another one and just let it go. You know what I mean? <laughs> plantar fasciitis. I, I don't even remember the word I used. It's when you step on too many plants and your feet get fungus. Do they? That's not what it is. Oh. But it's something with your feet. Plantar fasciitis. I know. Oh, yeah. Isn't it's that, like a fucking... You have like I, a I googly know. foot or some it's stupid shit. like a bone shit. spur. Is we, that what dude, is? We, how we don't, are we gonna know anything we, today? We know nothing. Can we talk about something easy? We know nothing. Multiplication. We know nothing, Jon Snow. Oh, I don't know what I. That just was did. not. I don't even know what I just did. That's. You that's know what's how crazy is I've also been told I look like Jon Snow, like like Kit Harrington, and don't even say that you don't agree with that one. I I, I can sort of see that. Yeah. One. But he's way like. He's like pale. Like maybe if you were like, if you had food poisoning, then maybe. All right. Just give me some fucking, some chicken nugs right now and I'll just, I'll get. Chicken nuggets. Yeah. Something to give me nice food poisoning. 
I'll lose a couple LBs. How can you, you don't get food poisoning from like chicken nuggets? You could if they're undercooked. Oh, that's no, that's salmonella. Yeah. yeah, which I mean that'll probably do the trick also. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll get you. That'll get you right there, very quick. <laughs> you know what? Throwing up's not all that bad. Yeah, uh, no, I've thrown up free since December twenty sixth, two thousand eight. I remember that. Yeah. Didn't you say you also started? You stopped jerking off in two thousand eight. I, you know, I, I, it was, it was around that time. But I will say that I stand by. I think the concept of porn is very weird. No one's talking about porn. I'm talking about yanking your yang. Oh well, like you know, you know, it, it, there have been times where my lady and I have been like, "How you doing?" And no, she like, it's not included. That's not masturbation. Oh, no, no, yeah. Masturbation is you are the master and you're A bait of the bait. <laughs> yeah, this is the bait, and you are the master of the bait, and you take the bait every time. That's what masturbation is. It's not someone else is included. Oh, so like you have to... So, That's Zex. Wait, so you're like just like wiggling your dick in front of you and just like go ahead and do it, bitch. Yeah. And then I, you just fucking... I put... That's why people use lube because then it creates a shine. Like a bait. Uh, oh. Well, baits have shines? No, a, a bait. Like when you put it in the water like for fish. Oh. Oh, so you're like... Catches their eye. Gotcha, 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 yeah, gotcha. Yeah, I can't just go down there. Are you the fish? Are you just standing up there and then oh, it catches yeah. your eye and oh. you attack that son of a bitch? If the sun hits my penis in a way that it blinds me for a second. You know what I'm saying? Like you catch, you get that yeah. little like ray of sun in your yeah, eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember the last time I've had like sunlight on my dick. Uh, what? I don't, I don't remember the last time I've had sunlight. Oh, just like, like sunlight, just like my straight sun on my dick. At this point, it might burn up like fucking Bill Compton. Shooky. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, I, I really don't think I can't. Natural. Like, Sun. When? Yeah. When the hell? Like when? Not even the, through like a window. Or are we not counting that? I mean, yeah, but like even then, like I, I don't get great sun in my place. Like I'm saying, like I'm not. I haven't been outside with my dick out in a while. Wait, that, that's actually that might be a good. Thing. No, that is a good thing. But also, you have you have a you know you could you could do it if you want in the privacy of your own. Just home. stand in a window. But see, you can't. You can't just stand in a window. I stand in a window with my dick out. I'm gonna get into big time trubs. Can you? Is that trouble? I would assume so, because it's, like, in decent exposure. But it? I'm in my house. Yeah, but, like, you're in front of a window. I know, but I'm in front of my house. Yeah, but, like, there's other eyes I could see in. I know, but then I gotta be responsible for everyone's eyes? What if I can't afford blinds? And I have, and I just, I'm naked. I could, I'm a nudist. I can be a nudist in my house. I think there are colonies for that, though. I don't think, like, you can just, like, be nude all the Colony, time. I know, uh, colonies. You need to, like, what live. is it? You need to live in, like, a nudist, like... No. Yes, you do. You, don't you can't have just be to. fucking nude in in your windows. I'm not saying Dude. press your dick up against the glass. Well, that, well, what are you saying? I mean, if I could walk by and if someone sees it, oopsie. But I'm That's I'm not going to be standing in front of my window just fucking. Oh no, I'm not saying stand in front of your window and like you know, people watch. I'm saying you stand. You know, you have a nice coffee oh, in the morning yeah. and you're like, it's a very nice day out. And you're I feel like naked. anytime I'm naked and I walk by a window, I do like the walk from like signs. You remember when like they see the alien for the first time and it's like, <laughs> no one's watching. I you know just catch no one's the leg. I know no one's watching, but I need to get out of there quick, dude. How much do you not want to walk through a fucking cornfield? Oh, never. Not even just because of what I'm afraid would I'd find. Because why the fuck would I do that? I mean, I think it would be cool for a second. Two things though. I don't know what's in there, mm. and also I feel like. I feel like there's a lot of noise and I'd be scared that there's animals like everywhere. And also if I just happen to walk through and get to a crop circle, put me in a mental institution. Yeah, you're dead there. I, I, just, I just tried to say institution. It didn't come out. I, well, you, you backed away. You, it was a smart back away. Mental institution. Yeah. That's all I said. I, yeah, these people that go into like corn mazes, it's like, what the? what is wrong with you? People have fun like that in, in like Wisconsin. How do you have fun? And how do you get lost? You know how stupid you need to be to get lost in a corn maze? It's just, a maze. It's But... But it's just corn. Just walk through it. You're going to find the end eventually. You can't just walk through yeah, corn. Yeah, you can't. If I get lost, I'm walking through. I'm breaking the rules. Well, a, a maze is like... They're like... It's thick. You can't get through. You can. I don't think so. Listen, there's no bush that's ever kept me out. Full skirt... Full skirkle. First skirkle. Full skirkle. First skirkle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Already. Yeah, I'm saying. Minutes in. I'm saying, like, if there was like those hedge maze, like in The Shining, the hedge maze ones, I'm going right through that shit. I don't care how thick it is; it's greenery. I I will rule greenery in that situation. Whatever. What do you mean whatever? What are we talking about? 
We started with placentas, ended on hedge mazes. Yeah. <laughs> We're still on Bush, though, apparently. <laughs> and But you know what we should bring up? Our lovely Patreon. Oh! Forgot to do it again. Yeah, I know. I, guys, tried to, I reminded you right before we started, too. I was did like, you? forget. Yeah. yeah, I'm an idiot. Uh, guys, for the people who don't know or you're listening to the show, go check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Every week you get a, an extra episode that is exclusively on Patreon. No one else. Of this show. Okay? So if you want another episode every single week, that's where you got to go. Patreon.com slash the basement yard, and you get every episode a week ahead. So, I mean, what, what, you, what do you want to say? We want the oh 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 oh. What was that? I don't know, but I... did you? Are you okay? Yeah. Did you ever take up like a break dancing class? No, but I did go through a break dancing phase where I wore, I wore a lot of breakaway pants. When was this, dude? Like fifth grade. I had mad breakaway Adidas pants. What is a breakaway pants? The ones that have the buttons on the side. Oh, you just okay. Fucking rip them. That's more of a stripper thing than a dancer thing, no? Well, no, I think that dancers have to be ready to dance at any time. So why would they co- take their pants off and because, reveal other pants? I mean, you can't... That's not. You don't wear pants. You wear shorts. So you why don't you more just movement. wear shorts to begin with? Because it's a pant... I think that you're wrong. I, no, I'm right. No. I think that you're wrong, and I think that you were meaning to like wear those pants... Because you saw a stripper wear them. And let's be honest. In fifth grade? Let's be honest. I saw a dude stripper? Every single person has wanted to th- rip their pants off like that. Myself included. I've ripped my pants off. Like Have that. you? I had the breakaway pants. Oh, you think I'm right. going to wear them and that's not right. rip them? Yeah, but I like... I was ripping them for no reason. I'm saying dude, like... taking a shit... You know what I used to do? Uh, here we go. Wear those pants and just wear boxers. Like, you know, whatever. I wasn't ready to dance. I wasn't, you know, I you wasn't battling. You yeah, you weren't in the dance party. I, what I was going to say before was that people do that because they're constantly being challenged to dance back in the day. So they had to be ready to dance at any moment. This is a constant battle, like... Yeah, for dancers. This is like the Wild West of dancing out there. Mm-hmm. I don't so, know. So, anyway, I wasn't ready for that kind of thing. So I would just wear boxers underneath mine. And when I had to take a dump... <sighs> really? It was the coolest shit I've ever taken. I want a pair of those now, then. What know, the hell? I know. I don't know if they make them anymore. They have to. I mean, they make them for adult male strippers. N- not the child male strippers. <laughs> adult male strippers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Child male strippers. Um, Isn't it weird that you can call, like, a child a male? Doesn't that sound so grown up? I mean, I, I stand, like, when Becca and I were doing, like, the little uh, gender reveal that we did. He's a male. I wanted to say, like, she instead of going, like, boy or girl, I wanted to say, like, guy or lady. It's because it's just, it's just, you don't call a kid a guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, or you but, don't but call also, it, you don't call it a male, even though it is a male. It's male. Yeah, I think that's, like, the scientific term. Like, you don't call your, you don't call, say your penis. You know what I mean? Like, you say. I mean, people say penis. Pe- people are saying penis. But they're not confident people are saying genitalia that's yeah that's like to, that's that's just kind of like the blanket i hate genitalia dude. that's yeah it sounds i'll tell you this though it sounds like a dessert that i would like to eat i know but it also genitalia it sounds reptilian like it just sounds like it belongs see in i'm zoo. on the other side i'm see i'm how you doing i'm thinking like a nice like you know vanilla custard that's I'm what i'm thinking it like genitalia like. like reptile and like i'm thinking like a dragon looking thing and like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, something I with hear, scales. I hear you. I, yeah, and like that, a, uh, uh, they eat flies. It's, it's like a Mortal Kombat character, basically. Kind of. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Genitalia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what I, and I don't, I don't like that people use that. So what word would you give? Dude, cock, dick, penis, any of them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Dick okay. is, dick is the easy one. Like, are we going to say dick's a curse word? Like in the new, the news anchors that are talking about genitalia, because everyone's like criticizing Cardi B's new song, uh, WAP, which Stands for wet ass pussy. Pers- pers- <laughs> <laughs> I tried to stop. <laughs> Dude, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Was that serious? The whole way through? I tried, dude. Which my stands tongue. for wet ash pussy. <laughs> like, that's what you did. I fucked up at first, tried to save it, ruined it even further. That's what happened. Yeah. But- no, so all these news anchors are like, uh, she talks about her genitalia. And I'm like, dude, just say vagina. Just say vagina. Just say her soaking wet vagina. But then they need then they need to like understand. Then they're confirming that you could call a vagina a pussy. 
I don't think you know you can go on the news and be like, oh man, uh, someone's talking about her pussy. Well, that's <laughs> what we need. I'll tell you what, if they started using the word I'd pussy, be, I'd be hyped. I'd be watching the news. I'd be so hyped. Just if, waiting for if a Anderson pussy. Cooper was on there like this wet ass pussy that they're talking about. Yeah, it would it would be great. It'd make me tune in. I feel yeah, and I, I wish that like politicians could like we just gave them pussy. You know what I mean? Not oh. like gave them pussy. I mean like gave them the word pussy oh. so they can call each other pussies. Oh, yeah. I don't, know about, I don't know about that one. Like some guy just comes. Like can you imagine Donald Trump ha- was had access to the word pussy? Uh, yeah, like he already hasn't. <laughs> yeah, he, I mean he has. But it, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was in private slash public. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> private quotations public. Yeah. Uh, but imagine he could just get up there and be like, uh, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> be like, dude. What do you want me to say about Biden? He's a pussy. He's a pussy bitch. <laughs> I would be on board. That's what I'm afraid of. Like, if Kanye West gets into one of these debates, he'd be like, listen, pussy. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. That, honestly, that might be a breath of fresh air, but we can't elect these people. No, no, We're no, right. no, no. We know that, right? We, I honestly, we can't let politicians say pussy, but I'm just saying it would be funny. It would. If we just let them just like, if there was like a late night debate, you know what I mean? Like, it's like the debate for like the old people. And then they had like a, like one at like 12. Yeah. Adult swim. And it, yes. <laughs> and then it was like the, like, this is the one you want to watch. And Trump's out there like. Listen, I'll beat the shit out of you. Yeah, don't be a fuck fight me, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That would be fucking great. I, I'd, I'd be a lot, I'm telling you. They're like not PC at all. Yeah, there'd Should be I- a <laughs> lot more, there would be a lot more like young people voting if they had actually done that. Joe Biden, gay. There's <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yo, what the fuck is this? Oh, oh my God, that'd be so funny. That would be I good. Also, I just want to say this now that we're on the word pussy. I don't really trust people uh, who refer to cats as pussies? I I don't really like that. I, I think it's done like tongue in cheek. Like I don't think it's actually like that. They do it like no, seriously. No, I, I feel like creepy. Like you should, like I feel like you know who does that? Creepy like, cat ladies. They're like yeah. Ooh, they're like these are my, my pussies. This is my good little pussy. She knows what like, she's doing, though. Lady, she knows what she's doing. Like are you? I, I have you ever seen a word and it's like used in like a slang? You know, like colloquially, kind of like in those ways. Mm-hmm. And you ever sat there and wondered like where the fuck did that come from all of them like where did pussy come from who actually how said did, like all right lady pussy i'm here for your pussy yeah but like and how and like where's the cat and, and where's the reference where's this cat i need to know because those are the things that keep me up at night like the, pussies aren't like cats yeah and cats not vaginas right you know what i mean like who saw it and was like that? That well, I don't know why I'm speaking like John Wayne here. Yeah, what? Are, yeah, you sound like John Ham. Yeah, like, what the fuck but are you saying? I don't know why. Like, who saw that and was like, "That's a cat." Yeah, like, why do we say that? I don't know. I don't know, and it has we'll nothing. Like, it, it's just there. There's got to be a way to track I mean, this if back. We, if we want to go back full circle again, the bush. They both have fur, but that's bush. It's not fur. I mean, it's fur. It's no, not, it's not. It's not it, a. It's bush. not fur, it's hair. But it's not a, a bush. It's, I it's gotta, got roots I gotta and like lo- birds. I got to look this up. I Dude, absolutely a, have to A look. bush has berries and stuff. A bush. Some bush do have berries. Well. Um, all right, let's see. Why? Where does the term pussy come from? Let's see. I'm telling you, man. It's probably... I, I, but the origin of the word pussy is pretty hotly debated. Oh, hot topic. One theory suggests, and this is by Glamour, so you know it's real. One uh, theory suggests that it originally came from the old Norse word puss, which means perfect. Pocket pouch. <laughs> oh, wow. This is making sense now. Because it is a pocket. It's a for a baby. And, and for a pee-pee. And a, for where the pee a pee coming from. Yeah. <laughs> and where did it go? In the pee. Yeah, where did it come from? So puss... Means pocket pouch? I guess. So, like, just pockets? So they got... Okay. Oh, God, this, these pants don't have any pockets. Why are they calling it then a pocket? Like, what are they putting in there back in the old Norse days? I mean, it's a pocket, though. But it's, like, maybe a pocket in terms of, like... We know nothing about women. Can we, like, just... Well, the vagina's a pocket. Is it? I mean, it, it's got a like hole like in a, it. It's like a cavern. It's, it's like a, cavernous. I mean, it is ca- But so are pockets. Not all pockets are cavernous. I would say that it resembles a pocket, but it does have a hole in the pocket. I don't know about that. Because you could get you can get through, I think. 
Can you get through? Can you get all the way through? I don't know. There's got to be an end, right? <laughs> there's got to be divi- like a Game of Thrones wall yeah, that we have to get a fucking. There's got. I've never made my way that far, so I can't really speak to it. Oh, I haven't even. You know, I wouldn't. You I would know. need a miner's helmet with a fucking flashlight yeah, on the top yeah, yeah. of it to get through that. Yeah, I had a friend in college who his saying was, uh, "He'll never reach the end, but he'll blow the sides out." <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. I know. I think he that's actually, a yearbook quote. I think it is. <laughs> I'll never reach the end. But I think, I'll blow I think, the sides I think out. it said like he's like I'll never hit the back of the tuna can, but I'll blow the sides out. He called it a tuna can. That's disgusting. I know. I know. I mean, I like tuna. Also, I'm gonna go on record and say this. Go ahead. The whole like, oh, your vagina smells like fish. I don't know where that comes from. Because I've never smelled a fishy. I don't think so. I, I mean, maybe I've been. I know it. There's a, additional hygiene that is required. Sure, but fish smell. If anything, I know I've smelled way worse than any woman that I've ever, like, come across. I would hope. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes... Oh, we, we spoke about this. I sometimes smell myself, and I'm proud of it. So a lot of the time, though... Mm-mm. You're not proud? No. I'm more concerned with the smells. See, I, I'm okay with that because I grew up with my father, who, when he would take a shower, the entire bathroom would smell. Oof. So I don't know what what he was doing... But it was like, and it also smelled like vegetables. Ooh. Like a raw broccoli. So my dad would I'm get in not, the shower. I'm not, I'm not against that. Well, it's not a smell you expect is my point. Like he, he would get into the shower and he would so, the guy's a really good washer. Okay. He covered in soap guy, right? Oh, you've seen this. I've seen it. You've seen your dad soaped up, lubed up, ready to go. More than 20 times. That's a lot of times. Yeah. Uh, so he was, yeah, we used to take showers with him when we were younger and he would call it the car wash and he would just, you know, he was very violent with his hands. We, my dad used to call it the washer machine. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He called, we call it the car wash cause he was the size of a car. Listen, dads don't shower with your kids. I mean, you can shower with your kids. Uh, I don't know about that. Of course you can. Uh, I don't know. It's a little yes, weird. Yes, you can. It's a little weird. It depends on what age they are. I don't shower with your fucking nine year old. Uh, uh, well, maybe if they're like a one. Yeah, like baby. Yeah, like, one. No, no, no. If they're like four, well, you have the memory of it. You're gonna tell me you remember when you were one showering with your dad? Nah, I was I was a little older. You were a little older. Okay, I was like three, four. Okay, that's too old. That's a showerable age. You're at dick height at that point in time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's dangerous. That's no, yeah. no man's land. I mean, I wasn't getting hit with it. How do you know? I would know. You ever wondered where you got that fucking dent in your head from? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Time flies by while the pendulum swings. Yeah. See, that's why I would be afraid to shower my kids because it would take one, like, just, like, unfortunate, no. like, blocking. Are you going to kiss your kid on the mouth? Uh, I think to, like, one year, one or two years old, I would, yeah. You just smooch your kid. Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong, but, like, Becca's that Tom not- Brady kiss? That's an old <laughs> kiss. Dude. Tom Brady also kisses his dad. Dude, on the mouth? Mouth, dude. Won no, no, the, no, no, the no, Super no. Bowl, smooched his dad. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe on the mouth when he's an old man. Dude, won the Super Bowl, kissed him at midfield. Dude, no way. I don't confetti? believe that. Confetti? It was a confetti that. covered I need, kiss. I need to see that. If this man is his age, it takes him out of the running for any fucking Hall of Fame that he'll ever be in. Dude, look at this fucking glorious I need to see in video. love kiss. Uh, hold on. I need to see video. They're I don't in see, love. Pictures could be doctored. I know videos can be as well, but I'm a bitch and I'll believe a video over a picture. Tom Brady kisses dad. If that's the case, we got to talk. Nah, oh, 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 here we go. Oh, no. I think he... Oh. Is it a video? Yeah, but this one, it says he kisses Robert. I mean, he's got Edelman in his grasp right now, so. I mean, if you're going to kiss anyone, Julian Edelman's a good-looking guy. Yeah, yeah, kiss that guy. There's too many cameras. Uh, I didn't see anything. No, apparently he he smooches. I mean, like an accidental kiss on the mouth. No, 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 this is a purposeful. Like, I need them to stop. Oh, here we go, here we go. There's a hug, there's an embrace. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Say what you gotta say. Sweet this up. No way. But apparently he kisses Robert Kraft right on the fucking mouth. <gasps> do it. Do it. Do it. Kiss him. Kiss him, Tommy. You know you want to. No way. Let me Slammed see. Slammed him. I couldn't see that. Slammed his give lips me. on him. Give me. 
That might have been dude, accidental. Look. That might have been accidental. Nah, dude, that was a purposeful, happy, love you kiss. Slammed him. No, that Slammed might have been. Slammed him. No, hold on. That might have been like right here. Dude. Slammed the owner. Dude. Kissed him, dude. It's, listen. Smooch an old man. Listen. The idea of two Tom men. Tom Brady's smooching the fucking organization. Listen. That's tampering. This is very confusing. I don't know how to navigate these waters. The idea of two men kissing, that's fine. I don't care. I love it. It's beautiful. I'll kiss you right now. Please ask me. <laughs> but, like, Tom Brady here, I'm singling him out, might, might, might be a little too affectionate. I'm not saying that there's a problem with men kissing. I'm saying there's a problem with kissing the owner of the Patriots? Hold on a sec. A happy kiss? Hold on a sec. Tell me you wouldn't kiss Tom Brady on the mouth if he asked. Why is he asking? Uh, it doesn't matter. Hey, Joe, really like your little potty cast. Can I kiss you on the mouth? Just one little tap. I'd be like, Tom, I'm not really comfortable with you yet. Hey, Maybe. man, it's me, good old Tom Brady, TB12. I'm married to Giselle Munchkin. Is that her name? I think, I don't remember. Is that offensive? Did you just offend little people? Oh, there it is. Munchkin? Cancel me. You're canceled. I'm done. You're done. Fun while it lasted, guys. Also, Dunkin' Donuts calling those those donut holes munchkins? Hey, man. Get them. Just saying. Get them. I'm Tom Brady. Would you let me... No. Really? It's not my type. I'll do it. You kiss Brady? Yeah, why not? He's not my type. I'll kiss anyone on the mouth. Why'd you say that, like, <laughs> but you would in other places? Oh, yeah. Well, no, no one's going to make you kiss anyone's penis. I saw a video recently of, like, two guys. Like, it was, like, a joke video. It was, like, after you see your friends after the quarantine, and he, like, grabs him and, like, kisses him on the cheek. And I, I like, laughed for a second. I was like, I can't, I can't talk shit. I've done that. <laughs> like, I can't tell you how, like, I've been at, like, drunk at weddings and, like, grab someone on the side of the face and kiss them on the cheek. Like, I love you. Yeah. I've done it. Absolutely, I've done it. That's like Pete. Pete's a big-time face grabber when he's drunk, wants dude, to kiss you. Dude, listen to me right now. Guys, just an affectionate bear. Listen bare. to me right now. Pete is one glass of tequila away from just straight up making, making out, with, out with you. Making out with you, yeah. Yeah. Like, he will, and he'll go for it, too. Oh, yeah. And he'll, like, pretend, he'll like... He'll finger your mouth. I will let you know this is abhorrent behavior on your part, and this is disgusting. But, like, Pete, come on, a little kiss. All right. You know, you know he'd be. I have it. watched Pete finger your mouth thrice. That was like a thing of his in college. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't just me. Pete would just go up to people and just be like, "Hey, finger." Yeah, he banged them. And he banged the fucking like he knocked knuckles to teeth. Like he was really hurting people with that thing. He was trying to make a statement. Yeah, I mean Pete. <laughs> that's the only thing you can put in someone's mouth without hurting them. You know what I mean? I know exactly what. <laughs> I cannot wait to clip this and show him. Oh, he's going to be like, <laughs> you guys are so immature. <laughs> Honestly, at what point are you going to seize operations and speaking about my my phallus? <laughs> it's all right. Grow up, Pete. Loves big words, that one. He does. He loves he it. He does. He does. And he uses them well, which is, I guess, good. You know, in, in, the, in the spirit of penis, let's get to these ads. <laughs> oh, please tell me. What? It was one of the ads. What? No, no. I don't know. It was saying. a layup for you. You didn't fucking take it. I don't know what you're saying, but all I know is first ad is from uh, Tom Brady. He uh, <laughs> is given uh, kisses with the promo code Basement half off. They're all free. That's not bad. Yeah. So there you go. No, but first up, uh, we have uh, Native uh, Deodorant, um, which apparently my family is a giant fan of, uh, fan of, and I didn't know until uh, you know I went there and they were like, oh, we just bought these new deodorants and this and that. And whatever. And they were like, oh, yeah, it's native. And I was like, oh, I have a, they're a sponsor of the basement yard. And they looked at me like I was an asshole uh, because I didn't give them the promo code. So for those of you out there, um, you know, it's good. People are buying it. People love it. Native is great. Um, but, yeah, they have, um, you know, their ingredients are coconut oil, shea butter, tapioca starch. Uh, it's vegan. Uh, they're safe um, organic soaps. I don't know if organic is the right word. Vegan's the right one. Um, they have 10 cents, including uh, rotating seasonals. Um, you know, coconut and vanilla is my favorite one. Lavender and rose, cucumber and mint, uh, citrus and herbal. They have great ones. They smell great. It's amazing, and it's safe to put on your body because a lot of these other deodorants out here are using 
you know, uh, ingredients like aluminum in their stuff, that's not good for you. So, you know, if you want to use safe deodorant that smells good, Native is the one you want. So if you want to check them out, go to nativedo.com slash basement20 or use the code basement20 at checkout and get 20% off of your first order. That is nativedo.com slash basement20 or use the promo code basement20 at checkout for 20% off of your first order, okay? They have a lot of stuff. Um, they have soaps and um, uh, deodorants and things like that. So go check them out, Native. Uh, next, we have uh, Liquid IV, uh, who I'm a big fan of. Liquid IV is keeping me hydrated, you know? They got these packets. Uh, Frankie's playing videos over there. How about, know. how about, no? Didn't know it was on, my yeah. bad. Uh, but no, Native, uh, Native uh, is the last one. Anyway, Liquid IV. Um, Liquid IVs. They come in these little pouches, and in the pouches, uh, you know, you put them in, in 16 ounces of water, and it's like drinking two or three glasses of water, and it gets you hydrated quicker because of uh, this shit called cellular transport technology. Uh, delivers an optimal ratio of nutrients for a more efficient uptake, okay? Whatever that means. What it means is you get your electrolytes, all right? And you're nice and uh, hydrated. Um, but they're great. The, the flavors are amazing. I love Liquid IV. I have a ton of it. They just keep sending me packages. I don't know what to do with all of it because I feel like I'm having a lot of them. Dude, the matcha one is so good. The matcha, the premium matcha, and the green energy blend, okay? That boost you get from that is, is like one to two cups of coffee without the crash. Uh, so go check out Liquid IV. They're available nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BASEMENT at checkout. That is 25% off anything you order when you use the promo code BASEMENT at liquidiv.com. Uh, but yeah, again, liquidiv.com, use the promo code BASEMENT. Um, and then lastly here, we have BetterHelp, which if uh, you know, you're know you looking to get into online counseling or talking to a therapist or anything like that, you can use BetterHelp. Um, there's four means of communication. There's text, there's chat, there's uh, call, uh, there's video chat. Um, and you can start communicating in just under 48 hours, which is good. There's no like wait list or anything like that. Um, and if you want to switch counselors, it's a very seamless process. That way they have licensed professionals that specialize in relationship drama or anxiety or depression or anything you're kind of dealing with. They'll find someone that is best suited for you. Um, but yeah, they want you to live a happier life today. And yeah, you go check out betterhelp.com. Uh, slash yard that is betterhelp.com slash yard and you will get 10% off of your first month again that is betterhelp.com slash yard um you know take control of your mental health it's nice um but yeah that's all we have for today that's cool that's ta da great. good good friends of the show good friends of the show yeah like welcome back to the second versions edition episode of keeping it frank <laughs> um I am uh, your host, uh, Frank Alvarez, uh, and uh, as always, joining me is uh, my incredible sidekick, Mr. Joe Sangatato. How are you, baby? I'm doing very well. How are you? Okay. So, uh, Joe, this week on Keeping It Frank, I wanted to talk about something. Uh, you've been doing videos for quite some time. You've been doing videos uh, for, I believe, about 11 years now. Is that correct? Probably not. Yeah. So... As you have been doing these videos, do you feel that your humor has changed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It has, huh? Yeah. Well, what do you think? If, oh you, no. if we're talking to 2009 Joe, what's funny to him? Uh, sexism. <laughs> I feel like when I was younger and I well, 2009 it was before I started doing YouTube, but it like... Yeah, 2010 you started because that's when I went away of, to college. There was a lot of like slut jokes that I've made yeah, in the past. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of that stuff. So a lot of it was satirical. It was pointing. No. It was. It was. It was pointing. Uh, you know, holding a mirror up to society. No, I, there was no like real uh, substance. There was no substance to it. It was just like I know that it like it's funny to call girls sluts. Oh, and know? where do you stand now? Very different. Very different. I'm on the other side of the river. Yeah. You know what I'm so saying? if you can go back and talk to 2009 Joe, what what are you gonna say to him? You're not funny, literally at all. But then you might not. You might discourage him. There's an alternate universe where you don't become the person you are now. Yeah, it's an alternate one, not the one I'm in now. Damn, that's foul. fuck him. That's I'm foul. Li literally, I'm saying fuck off to myself. Damn. So you would agree that I'm like, so selfish that I won't even help myself. That's nice to help myself. And now you guys wonder why I complain that he takes 96 percent of all fucking profits. <laughs> That come out of this son of a bitch. The number keeps getting higher. You're getting close to 100. I don't know where you're going to go above that. I, I reflect what is going on in this hellhole. <laughs> in this um, hellhole. So, so 
give me a snippet of, you know, do you remember anything from videos that you used to say or do? Yes. Uh, I do remember uh, one video specifically. Um, you also, by the way, yep. you were like, very like, yes. You were like, yo, like, what's up, yo, it's Cho. Hey, 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 whoa. I was, I was, I had a crazy, like, accent when I was younger, too. And I feel like I was very uh, nasally. Like, it sounded like my throat was this big. Like, not a lot of. You were congested. I yeah, get that. Like, constantly, though. You unlock the secret to life. When you make over a certain dollar amount, you know, after you made your 30 million Your dollar, voice gets more booming? Yeah, you get you get more powerful. <laughs> no, but I think back then, like, I had, I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I was- You were. I was. You definitely were. And this was also around the same time that you oh, were uh, a, a, a rapper. No, I was- oh. I was never a rapper. Also, you know, you know something. A fun fact. Tell me, you weren't a rapper. I was not a rapper. Tell me, you weren't a rapper, Joey. For, okay. You Hold on. Fucking dirty lying Hold on. whore. Let me <laughs> let me get something. The first video that I ever made where I was like talking to a camera. Mm. You can't find it, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking find the shit out of it. It doesn't video. exist anymore. Mm -hmm. Unless someone like recorded it. Go on. But the haircut that I had. I got from Johnny Petrop. Oh, yeah? He just shaved my head. Oh, okay. Didn't line me up. Literally so the day before. You looked like a lot more like a neo-Nazi than you do now. Where, yeah. <laughs> and I, so like, and I didn't have it like, my hairline was just, you know. Just there. Don't shape it up at all. Just yeah, let yeah, it be yeah. what it is. And I buzzed it. And then the, I was talking about like sluts. Let's say if you're a slut, I'm going to tell you something right quick. It's like, yo. Uh, That's exactly what if it you, used to be. I, I mean, I'm playing it up a little bit. I sound like young M.A. <laughs> I thought it was young Ma. <laughs> oh, you did. Yeah, I did. Young Ma? Isn't she a girl? Yeah. Yeah, so why is that crazy? <laughs> young Ma. Yeah, young Ma. Because she's a famous rapper. Okay, but... I know, it's just funny. Young Ma. No. Now, how's that... Cr Not back to keeping it frank. Yo-Yo Ma. Back, uh, back to keeping it frank. Cello? What'd he play? Uh, The violin, I believe. One of those. Or the... Placenta. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you would agree that your humor has changed through time? Yeah, dude. Okay. I think it's supposed to. Because you met... Oh, no. What did you do? <laughs> well, I just... There are certain things, certain pictures that I always wondered, you know, like, did you think that it was funny to post at, at points in time? In particular, this one. That was actually a joke, though. Was I wasn't, it? that wasn't, that wasn't a serious photo. I oh, are you insane? Was, I think that was a serious photo. No, that was literally, Look. I know where that's from. Yeah. Where is it from? Look at it. Look at your face. Make that same face right now. No. Make it. No. Listen, that, that is from. Did a, you find that funny? Let me explain. Answer my question. Let me explain. That's from, I think a vine. Where I was making fun of girls who think that just because they make that. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Continue. Oh, man. I was saying girls who just who make that face mm -hmm. and their caption is like, I'm so silly. And like they so badly want to have a personality. So that do they you make still agree faces. with it? Oh, 100%. Okay. There's still girls out there that Well, make that ladies face. and gentlemen, we exposed the hypocriticism coming out of this guy right here. What are you talking uh, about? You can join me next time where we continue to tackle the uh, I intrusive and uh, emotional topics of today on Keeping It Frank. Because you know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to keep it frank. Exposed you, you son of a bitch. For what? Every single time I do that, I'm going to expose you. So they know what I have to go through. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> no, but, um, bumch, bumch, I've always done that. uh, fucking, I wanted to talk to you also because there's this thing that I found. I feel like you should know as a, as an expecting father, you should know. You need to understand. You need to, you need to come at conversations a little bit better. I need to talk to you. Now I'm on the, I'm ready. Like, uh, like, Hey, I, I got to show you something. Ha 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 ha. This is no ha ha. Why not? Oh, it's real. It's this serious. Is, this is a serial ha. Oh. There's no ha. Okay. All right. What is it? Zero ha. So obviously you have a child. What do childs like? Candy. Toys. Okay. But candy. Candy as well. But candy I'm not late, off. Later in life, they want candy. They always want candy. They always do. Uh, but there was a toy that went like viral recently mm -hmm. and apparently it's part of like a package deal, right? Okay. 
I don't want to get the name wrong so that everyone knows and you don't buy your child this. Is this like something I could find in the stores right now? I don't know. I'm not really, you know, I don't know about toys the where and where they are. Okay. So I don't know. Um, but this one is called Poopsie Slime Surprise. What? Poopsie. Like poop. Poop. See. Uh, slime Surprise. Okay. Which just sounds like a regular day for you. I know that. Um... No surprise there. I don't like this. Uh, no, but uh, no. So a dad had bought this poopsie slime surprise, mm -hmm. um, which it is what you think. It's a poop. It's poop, but slime that they could play with. Okay. Children are playing with poop. Teach them from a young age. But there's uh, there was a this thing right that has like a, a there's like a box in it, and there it's like a missing carton right when you, like a missing thing that they put on milk cartons back in the day. So on it it said. Have you seen me? Right? And then there was a number. And it was 1-800-TOO-MUCH. Stop. Right? <laughs> so it was 1-800-TOO-MUCH. Call it right now. Well, I did before because I didn't know what was going to come up because like, I'm going to tell you what, it, what, what came up. <laughs> uh, but it didn't come up anymore. But 1-800-TOO-MUCH, which doesn't even make sense. Too for much what? Too much poop? Like... And if it's missing, if it's too much, how can it go missing? And yeah, and and if it's too much, you're okay with it missing. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> too much. Oh, I need it back. I need all those then poop it, back. Then it's still an excessive much. Yeah, and it wouldn't be missing. Yeah, um, but so you call one eight hundred too much, and it was a sex hotline. No. So a little child's toy had this one eight hundred too much on it. So a dad like randomly was like, "Oh man, my daughter loves playing with this poop." Uh, I'm going to call this number and calls it and it was a sex hotline. That's awesome. Yeah, it's fucking cool. That's so cool. There's layers to this gift. Gift? Gift? What I the fuck say, is a gift? I wouldn't say gift. But like, this is also just gross. So that Poopsie Slime Surprise Packs are actually pretty popular toys these days. There Can is, I see them? Yeah, hold on. There isn't much to it. Unwrap it, smush it around in your hands, and put the poop back in the tin. As if poop needed to get any more interesting, the packs come in different varieties. Unicorn poop? Mm-hmm. I've probably seen these because I've, I'll tell you right now, Miles loves some slime. Does he love poop? Loves, I, I assume if, it, if he could get away with playing with it, he would. Unicorn poop, panda poop. Of course. And uh, bedazzled poop. Mm-hmm. And um, scented poop. It's all scented. I don't know if it, but I don't think they smell like poop. Why not? I don't know, but maybe a regular version. Can I see these poops? Yeah, hold on. Let me let me type. Well, it what in. are they called? Like oopsie poopsies or something? Surprise poopsie, poops. W have we hit the bottom of the barrel that we're just scraping and just giving kids literal shit to play with? Scra <laughs> scraping the bottom of the toilet for gifts. It's disgusting. Where is this poop? I need to see this thing. Show me the poop. Oh, here's the poop. Wait, no, that's a bag. These are poopsie. Poopsie cutie tootsie surprise. That just sounds like an ice cream. Yeah. Plate. Those are poops. Oh. They oh, they're like little collectibles. No, but you can smush them. Like poop. They're like little collectibles, though. Why are we teaching children to play with their poop? Why not? What else are they going to play with? But because they can play with their knives, poop. Joey? No. Who's Matches, it? Joey? Who's giving them? First of all, you know how hard it would be for a baby to play with a match? I could barely light yeah, a match. Yeah, I never understood that, where it's like, you know, don't teach kids to play with matches like... They couldn't. They're yeah. a little dumb idiot. What are they going to do? Like, they're uh, going to light a match? And they're certainly not going to light it like those fucking cowboys. They can light it with their teeth. What yeah. the fuck is that? And also, yeah, the people... I, I've tried this to light a match with my snap by snapping my fingers. I'll tell you this. Doesn't work. Yeah. I don't got the fingers What about for the it. ones where people take a match and they go... <laughs> and they can light it? I mean, it's all about friction. You could probably do that. Yeah, but also... You, you got some, matches? Like, I'll do this shit right now. You're not going to light a match with your teeth. How much do you want to bet? You're also not getting up right now, dude. I can't. Yeah, if, anyone's, to do. if anyone's getting up, it's you. Yeah, he's not, though. But uh, we're giving kids poop. Yeah, I mean, what else are they going to play with? You know, like we. Uh, Action figures, fucking. Yeah, I will say. Things I, that aren't. Just give them regular slime. I'm going to call it poop. I don't, know if it's, I don't know if it's just Miles because. I, you know, he's the only one that I live with and, like, spend time with. But, like, kids aren't into action figures like we used to be. That's because there's no marketing. Dude, 
They like when we were kids, it was all about action figures. Yeah. It was all about, you know, fucking the Gorgonites, you know, and Transformers. Bing bang bing bang boom. Yeah. You know, like they don't give a fuck about that. We I got Miles like five Transformers for his birthday. He plays with them and he just puts them down and then he goes and he plays with a fucking ball of yarn. I don't make this up. A ball of yarn? What is it? Was he a cat? He wakes up like a cat sometimes. He does. He plays with yarn? He does he drink milk out of a dish? Dude. His idea of having fun is playing with yarn and pretending to be a cat. Does he hide if I was on a little the fridge? Kid, dude, if I was a... He couldn't make his way up there. Trust me. If I was a little kid, I would be like, what is... What's going on? I want to play with my Batman. I want to play with my Spider-Man. I want to play with all of... Spider-Man? You know what you I mean. You have multiple men? Yeah. Why aren't kids into action figures anymore? Because the, the commercials... Do you remember... What happened to this kid? Remember this kid from, from the toy commercials back in the day? Oh, <laughs> there was that one kid that was excited about everything. So pumped. And he got me every time. It was like, oh, it's because like, yo, the way. Oh, no way. It's double trist, uh, double, uh, double blasting Batman and his trusty sidekick fist me Robin. Yeah. And then the kid would be like, oh, and then Batman would just be like, Ka-tew. yeah. And it would be like on like a tabletop with like rocks and smoke and moss. <laughs> and they would be like, oh my god, like who's gonna save the day? Who's gonna get the evil Joker? And then it's like the mom with the Joker, like, ha ha ha, <laughs> you have to do your chores. And it's Fuck like, you, mom! Yeah. <laughs> Dad hates you! He sleeps with his uh, a friend! <laughs> and she's like, oh, uh, what? What? You pussy? <laughs> You're a pussy just like Joe Biden! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh man. Oh, I wish as a kid I knew like the verbiage I have now. Do you know how many kids I would call pussies and assholes and pieces of shit while I was like a four year old? I vividly remember your brother calling you or saying the word shit and you telling on him just so you can say shit to your mom. I remember this vividly. Uh, I'm, I'm your bro- it your brother happen. your brother said shit and then you were like oh, and then <laughs> I followed you to your mom. Nice. And then you were like, Mom, Chris said shit. And you loved that you could say shit because you were, like, telling on it. When was, like, wh- what happened in your life that you then realized you can curse freely in front of your parents? Do you remember, like, oh, when that yeah. was? Dude, my dad still won't let me curse, like, in front of him. And he, when my dad curses to me on the phone, he apologizes immediately. No, Joe, the fucking... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> my dad, I am Your dad, 28. A simple sentence from your dad is, like... It's like Pandora's box. He can go off on any word and make it a whole other so- uh, story. He also has a way of connecting every word with. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, just, just figuring it out, and uh, I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, it's just no. I enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like I don't I don't know anything you're saying. Oh, your dad needs subtitles. Some of the time. My dad needs speech therapy. I don't know about that. No, I know about it. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you're a better judge than I am. My dad also would make this sound when he would read. The newspaper just <laughs> like job of the hut, dude. Your dad used to sit at the back of the table all day with the newspaper in his hand, with I, broken reading glasses and, on. And I don't think he was reading anything. I think he just sat with it there, <laughs> seething, just like one day I'm gonna beat the shit out of these kids. I know. <laughs> my dad had bro- my dad, by the way, cleans his ears with his car keys when he gets ear infections. That's actually how. How do I get them? <laughs> Probably from the fucking keys, Dad. But the other thing that he does, he had he had these reading glasses that were like gold and, and round like you would imagine Santa Claus had. Nice. And they were broken because he broke them, but he refused to get another pair. They were prob- He probably got them in a quarter machine. And this part just snapped off, so he would have the part that goes on your nose and then one <laughs> ear side, and this one was just shattered or it was drooping downward. <laughs> And he'd be using that. That's and then he would great. scream at his glasses and spit at them when they would fall off his face. That's awesome. Because he'd be reading and they'd fall off his face. He'd go, oh, <laughs> he'd spit at the glasses. Your this dad this was, was the man. Your dad was always a fun time. Oh, it was just a constant show. I like. Oh, I remember that there was one time that I used the word scumbag in your house. And it was like, <laughs> I basically was never allowed back in. I called Barry Bonds a scumbag. And your dad... <laughs> He's a scumbag. long time ago. He's a scumbag. He had his home run. But yeah, I always was. I, I think I've said this. My before. dad wouldn't. My dad still won't 
let me curse in front of like, oh. my mom. He doesn't like if I curse in front of my mom or something. I let it fly in front of my family. I don't. I, and and I think as soon as I went away to college, I came back and I just like tested the water and like nothing oh, yeah. happened. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> when you and start testing the water and your mom doesn't say anything, you're like. I think one okay. time I was just like I was like angry and I was like oh, this fucking idiot, dude. You know what my dad used to and do? I just like looked over like. You know what my dad used to do? Like when we were old enough to drink, if we were like sitting in the basement, it was just like me, Keith, my dad. Uh, Thomas and like maybe one of his friends right we'd be having a good time and we're like three hours into drinking and he goes guys all right you know what you know what I'm gonna lift the cursing ban thank you thanks dad thanks a lot dickhead (laughs) like we were cursing this whole time (laughs) like he would act like it was this big thing I'm gonna lift the cursing ban like fuck you dude my dad (laughs) there was one Christmas where I think my brothers were 18. I I was turning 21 in a couple months. And my dad, because my dad, my it was always different. Like my mom was never like okay with us drinking, but like she knew it happened. And she was like, just be safe. Don't get into cars. Don't be idiots. Just be fucking safe. My dad, no fucking clue. <laughs> my dad, I didn't drink until I was fucking 21, according to my dad. I know yeah. now he probably says the opposite, but like he had like no clue because my dad's sober. My dad's been sober for a long, long time. Yeah. And, um, I remember there was one summer where like my, uh, Christmas, my dad was okay with the idea of me drinking. Cause he knew I was in college and it was happening. So my dad was like, all right. And so on Christmas, he bought a bottle of Patron and you slammed it. <laughs> and well, no, I had a couple drinks and I remember that he was like, all right with then let it. Cause it was, that's what it was. It was like, my sister couldn't do it. They were okay with me doing it. My brothers got to do whatever the fuck they wanted. <laughs> and my dad sat there. It was like, all right, you guys want a drink? Okay. And he'd pour he'd pour three shots. He'd be like, for me and my brother, he's like, take those shots and promise that you'll never leave each other. And we take the shot. All right. And he'd pour three more. Take those shots that you'll always love each other. And we're like, Dad, like after like the sixth shot, we're like, take it fucking easy. <laughs> take it easy. I understand. Dude, he really he wanted said, us to promise. He said, take these shots and make sure you'll never leave each other. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was like a big thing. It's like in my family, it's just like you always remain close. You got your family, you know. And so it was like he would sit there and make us drink to it. Because that's what the Spanish do. They'll Dude, drink what you, it was, you guys are a bunch of pirates? I guess so. My dad was literally. <laughs> take these shots. You'll never mutiny. Yeah. <laughs> I, by taking this shot right here, you promise you'll never leave each other. It literally, yo, that was an amazing pirate fucking... <laughs> Don't ask me to do it again. That was incredible. I'm not going to be able to do I it again. I literally thought I was sitting across from Long John Silver. He would do... He did that for like six, seven shots. And my brothers and I were like, after like an hour and a half, we were like, Dad, you need to fucking chill. He's <laughs> like, Dad, we get it. We love each other, right? We, like, it, it was like Christmas Eve. So he like wanted us to like stay up and shit. And like at the end, we were all just like fucking hammered. Just ripped. <laughs> ripped to shreds. Oh, man. Yeah, no, no, no. My, my dad always, like, was a little, not naive, but, like, we were good at hiding it, and also my dad just, like, didn't want to know. <laughs> my dad used to tell me, anytime I went out, because my parents were, like, were cool with us drinking. They didn't, never really had a problem with that, um, but we didn't start drinking, like, consistently until I was, like, 18, I don't think. No. No, we drank before that, but not, like, uh, maybe I'm lying. Maybe, yeah. like, 17. I would say consistently, like... Make it a weekend thing. I would say 17, but like we were like 15 drinking. Dude, I used to drink a lot at your house. A lot of what? I said a lot at your house. Oh, yeah. It was all my house. Yeah, it was crazy. It was all my house. And, and I'm like... Your mom would go away for the weekend and yeah. be like, we're going to duct tape 40s to our hands. Fuck yeah, dog. And hold in this piss as long as we can. And <laughs> we crushed it. And we did. And uh, But then there was also like, we would like randomly, like, do you remember when like we knew kids that would like drink like Bacardi in the fucking park? Yeah. And, like, we'd go there for a night and then just run home. Just be on the swings. Yeah. Drinking. Yeah. What are we doing? Very stupid. But, Very dumb. yeah, a lot of it was at my... But, again, like, my mom's big thing was just, like, you know, we you were say, always responsible. Yeah. It was just, like... Just, <laughs> what? I remember one time... <laughs> oh We were drinking at your house, and it was me, you, Keith, and Josh, and I think Espo as well. Espo back then would drink for five seconds. Lightweight. Throw up. Everywhere. And be asleep. Espo threw up on my stairs and then fell asleep on the stairs. Fell, he th- th- threw up onto Impy's lap on yep. your stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but no. So we were we were drinking and we like, I think we were like of age at this point. I think we were like 21. Mm-hmm. And, and we slept at your house and then woke up. I remember waking up and like everyone was covered in like drawings. Like there was like oh, permanent Keith, marker Keith on Josh, people. Yeah. 
Keith and Josh, and Keith and Josh had it too. Keith and Josh drew on everyone's face and everything. We were definitely not 21 at that time, but go on. I don't know. And then he, they drew on everyone's face and everything and then drew on themselves so we wouldn't suspect them. But we found it out pretty smart. easily. Very smart. There was one person that, because uh, that was the big thing. It's like, we, you draw, like, that's when we were in high school. It was like, you fell asleep drunk, you drew on them. There was someone that, at my house, fell asleep in my room. And if you remember, I had like that white slatted wooden wall. I do. Their face, I drew like a giant dick on their face, like pressed up against that when they were asleep. And they woke up and it was in my wall. <laughs> like, I don't know. It was like basically tattooed on the wall. Damn. Yeah. That one backfired good, on Good you. fucking memories, man. Yeah. Good old time. This kid almost broke his own neck. Ah. I remember waking up one time, like hung over at your place, and the church bells were going off. And then Keith goes, "Is it? Is it Ash, Ash Wednesday? Wednesday? It yeah. was Sunday morning." Yeah, uh, yeah. We, I, we, we started drinking at an early age, pretty early age. I, I think compared, like, comparatively to like everyone, like in high school, the kids I was going to, like, our my freshman year, like kids were like drinking every weekend, like at parties. Yeah, and I never did any of that. Of high school, yeah. I mean, we definitely drank. Like when we 14, were in high 15, school. I didn't drink at all. No, that's not true. My first time drunk w- was with you, and it was at my house on New Year's. Remember when we snuck? Yeah, but that was an isolated incident. Yeah, like we weren't going. I mean, I I was like going because that's when our sisters went away to college. Yeah, I remember you went, and I went like a couple weekends and like hung out with them, and I was fucking letting it fly, <laughs> dude. You know how fucking dumb that is on her part. Whatever. Can you imagine being in college and be like, I'm gonna bring my. F- 15 year old brother here we had a good time i'm sure you did we had a grand old time it was fun those pictures were all over facebook oh i still have them (laughs) i still have them and they are just and i promise just as bad as they were back then yeah it's like me and like a fucking 2xl echo polo that was white green Green, white blue purple purple. yeah i still have that and i'm like he's got a, a reptar themed shirt basically uh but i did also then at another point in time have a reptar shirt Hey, that's a good shirt to have. Full circle. Full circle. Yeah. Oh, boy. But. What was that? I just lost my train of thought. Like, I had it. You know, you've been doing that recently. And it's gone. I think. I think I'm, like, losing it. Like, I'm telling you. I'd say that. I think it's going. I would definitely say that. I think it's going. Because someone else pointed that out. We're like, I love when Frank just starts talking and he's like, I have no idea where I was going. Yeah, well, that was a. That's something I said. But I also. Uh, Boy, oh boy. <laughs> is that happening again? I think I'm thirsty. I think I need water. I you think, think I'm, you're thirsty? <laughs> I, think de- I think I'm dehydrated. I think I'm thirsty. You know what they say? Like dehydration like fucks with your brain flow and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I think it might be part of it. Okay. We need water in here. You look like you're in panic. Let me take it from your plant. Tree down. Let me take it from your fucking plant. I promise that the new setup that we're having, because I am well, moving. God almighty. I will give you real fucking greenery because I can't take this I, fake I'm, shit anymore. That's the thing. I'm getting, I'm getting new plants. But I'm going to say no, this. No, you're not getting new plants. You're getting plants. Plants. Um, I'm, uh, I'm moving in a week um, well, from today. Well, from when this is recording. Well, from when we're recording. I'm saying after this, like next episode will be the last episode that we record Damn. here. Damn. R.I.P. to this studio. I'm not, not going to miss it. It's not that special. I mean. You know, it's a part of your part. It's a part of your life. Yeah, it is a part of my life. You know what I did? Every every room that I've moved out of in college, I I took off the plates of like the the light switches and I wrote my name on the inside. So one day I'll go back and they might not be there, but they might be. Well, if anyone's gonna paint the wall, no, correctly, that's what you your name's gonna be painted over. No, uh, listen to me. You you did it on the inside of the on the light switch. Oh, I thought you did it on the wall. No, on the cover. So if they change a the light switch, then we got a problem. But if they don't, we're good. We're flying high. You feel good knowing that you're inside of a light switch? I mean, you never know. I might go there when I'm like 50 and like, you know, unscrew the light switch. And it's like Frank Alvarez. That'd be cool. Frank Alvarez. Yeah. Someone sent me a, a picture of a textbook they had in high school. Like, yo, I got your textbook. And it was my name that I wrote in like 2000, whatever the fuck. Really? Yeah, like 2008. That's pretty cool. I, You know, I love shit like that. I think that stuff is so cool. That you write your name in a textbook? No, but like, you know. Yo, like, you know what's cool? Book sleeves. Oh, book covers? But what is that? It's book socks. Book socks? Yeah, those shits, were, those shits were cool. I used to put them on my head and like it had like the cape in the back. You wanted it to be a do-rag. It did. I did. Yeah. Uh, but those but like, think about it. Think about it like this. That guy is holding something you held in your hands at that point in time. 
Who am I? George Washington? But that's that's fucking cool. Like, it doesn't matter if you're George Washington or not. Like, I think about that all the time. Like, I'll hold something that I had when I was four years old and be like, yo, like, I I had this. Like, little four-year-old me also had this in their hands. And now look at me. That doesn't fuck with you? No. Damn. Does it, do you feel that way about, like, when you drink a can of Pepsi? No. No, no, no. I'm saying, like... Actual like sentimental valued things. What like, about wine? You're like, oh, the, no, 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 the no, 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 hills no. of Tuscany. There was no, 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 no. no. I'm Italian talking. Italian men made this. I'm talking like I. For instance, do you remember when we were in pre-K and we went to a pumpkin farm, and we got pumpkin rocks and we painted them like pumpkins? Yeah. You I have s- that? I still have it. I still have it. I used to have that, and it was on my mom's stoop for so long. It's in so many family photos. I have it still. Gone. Well, mine. I still got. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. And it, that that's cool. You know what's sad? I don't really have sentimental value like to items. Oh, I do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And, I mean, you collect stuff, so yeah. I mean, but like, even something as stupid as like, yo, you can give me like a quarter, and I will die before I get rid of that quarter. You know what I mean? See, I just like I don't. I would like to. I hope that like that changes when I have children eventually. I'm sure it will. Because like you're like, oh, I'm gonna keep their first shoes. And, like, yeah, I'm sure. My it will. mom's a fucking. She can't throw out anything. I, I mean, I can throw it out. Like I'm good at like deter- like being like, all right, I can get rid of certain stuff. But like certain stuff that I like a lot, I have. Let me For ask instance, you. Okay, go ahead. Hold that question. Mm-hmm. I have. I don't know if you remember this. There was a night we were in high school. It was like our junior or senior year of high school, and we played Edward Forty Hands. And it was me, you, Lawrence, Manny, and Dennis. What a crew. Great crew. And I had a three-inch nail, and I put the tops to the 40 can on the nail. Do you remember that? No. Because there was a night where where Manny went to go fight someone, and he took that nail because he was going to try to use it to stab someone. Wasn't going to do it. Classic. Classic Manny. Classic (laughs) Queens. But I, I still have, like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I have that. You have that? Yeah. It means something to you? Yeah! It brings me back. To the knife fighting days? Well, I wasn't... No one was fighting with knives, but, like, it just... It brings me back to those nights. We were young little men. I guess so. I mean, listen, I, I would love to... You know, whatever. I just don't have... Like, when someone asks me the question, like, if your house is on fire, what are the three things you would take? I'm like, I really don't care. Oh, I'm taking it all. I, like, literally, I'm the person that's like, I'll prepare for that. Like, I'll be like... So I'll, what are the things that you would take? Like, the most... Like, what would you take? I mean, I want to make sure my family gets out safely. I'm not including them. I'm talking about, like, the things that I would choose are just the most expensive things. Like, See, I, I don't think that would be mine. Mine would be, I have a, a an extensive record collection. <laughs> you think you could run out with a whole collection of records? Uh, uh, some of them. I mean, I, 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 I think I could. Okay. Um, I would say my, like, I have, like, in a big, like, Sterilite tote, you know, like a plastic tote, yeah. I have, like, memor- like memories, like, like, fucking, like, my old, like, you know, like my uh, hat I made in pre-K and shit like that. There's a piece of spit on your beard. Yeah, that ruined me. That was just, <laughs> oh my god, it just flew down. It wasn't a piece of spit. What was that? <laughs> no, that's a piece of spit. Oh, it was okay. just like bubbles. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm thirsty. But uh, <laughs> it's like a yeah, fucking dog. And then uh, what's the third? I don't know. I don't know. Like maybe some family pictures or something off the wall. Let me ask you a question. Uh-oh. This is the question I want to get to. Because someone asked me the other day, and I was like, that's a really good question. You know when someone dies, and then you get those cards? Mask cards? The mask cards? Yeah. What's the deal with those? I, I still have a lot of them. I still have a lot of them, too. But it's like, like I still have the one from our friend Stefan who died. I still have that. I think I, I'm sure I have that. I don't know where it is. Yeah, but like, whenever you get one, it's like, what is the... Like, it's like you, a trading card. <laughs> I forgot who asked me. It's like, yo, do I th- can I throw this out or like can I not throw this out? I don't know. And I was like, I think you just throw it into a drawer and you forget about it. And then if it disappears, you're not like heartbroken. Right. It. It's yeah. like you can't purposefully throw it out. You you misplace it's that. It's like shit. a Bible. You don't throw out a Bible. You just put it for someone else to find. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and what about also cards? When can I, you I keep, throw out a card? I keep all my cards. I have See, cards I, from I when I was like out twelve. All my cards. For me, like, in my opinion. If I give you a card, as soon as I leave the place where I gave you that card, do whatever you want with it. See, I don't... Were you going to reread it? Well, I mean, maybe years in the... Like, like my dad. I get get that from my dad. I know it's like a big thing with my family, but like my dad, like he told us like 
quite clearly, like when, because my dad wants to get cremated, he's like, put all the cards you kids ever gave me in with my body when I'm getting cremated. I was like, oh, okay. It's, it's nice. It's cute. Sentimental. I got a bunch of cards. <laughs> so You've never given me a single fucking card. I just want to make sure I know that. Really? Yeah, but I don't think I give you one either, so whatever. Uh, your dad, your dad wants to be cremated with paper. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's It'll be fun. like colorful. Oh, no, it's ash. It's all ash. Never mind. Or you have to dump him on the hills of Colombia? My dad said he wanted, like, all of us to have some of his ashes. He wants some in the lake. Uh, Pontoon, send it out. Yep. Yeah. And then he wants some in uh, with, like, his mom, brother, and dad are all in the same, like, little place in Colombia. Nice. Ended dark. 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 <laughs> Started with bush ended with dark i need dead. water i need you to get me water you see how we just did that in that episode started with birth ended with death this podcast is good yeah tell your friends about it tell your friends dude tell- basement yard youtube.com slash basement yard say it's the basement yard the basement yard patreon.com patreon.com slash the basement yard yes and and at the basement yard on instagram and where can they find you? This is a seamless ending also. Go ahead. We're doing this. this FAlvers8085 on Twitter and on Twitch if you want to come hang out with me, play video games, and sometimes play video games with Joe and the Frank Alvarez on Instagram. Yeah. And guys, go follow me on Instagram at Joe Santagato and my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Joe Santagato. We're streaming out of your guts. Yeah, he needs all the help. Blondes have way more fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Um, do you think I would look good blonde no we'll see you guys next time <laughs> <laughs>